Now, folks, I want y'all to take a good look at the Tesla chopper. Many of y'all pointed out, and I do agree, that the OD green color is just not the appropriate color when you're riding around in traffic, especially at night. It's low visibility. And, I mean, look, it has lights. Uh, but the color is just not ideal. So we're going to do something about that. I picked up a few items off Lazada. The Force G, he loves to ride right there. But we're about to change up the look of the Tesla chopper. Baby, you ready to uh, do a makeover on the Tesla chopper? Yeah, but I'm scared. Scared of what, baby? Uh, we're going to do real good. So I'll ask the beautiful wife number two to go ahead and take the take the parking brake out of there, baby. Yeah, take all that stuff out. And then let me show you what we're working with here, folks. This is what I got off Lazada. A couple of cans of spray paint. Fluorescent in color. Orange. Honey, does that look orange or red to you, the cap? Orange. Okay, there you go. Very good. So you we got some spray paint red. and some reflective tape. So we're going to put these reflectors all over this guy. What you laughing at, baby? And go get the other two pieces, baby, inside. Got two special pieces going to go on there. redneck style no tape no sanding no uh, no prep just real careful precise movements here all right baby I'm gonna start out with this panel right here yeah I'll start with this one right here all right get the plastic off there for me All I'm gonna do is put this in here and keep the overspray. Look at that. Look at that. Absolute genius. Put one right here. Put one like this. There you go. Okay. They want you to hold one right here for me like this. I'm gonna spray paint the boy. Well, folks, don't try this at home. Okay, don't don't try this at home. I hope I got that in the frame there. Right angle on the dangle. I think so. Force G. Watch out, boy. Crazy. Gonna spray paint you, boy. Let's give her a little test run here. Oh yeah. Real nice. That looks real nice. How's that look, baby? Right. Oh, you gotta get the boy over here. He's gonna sniff these fumes. It's not good. Son, dismount, buddy. Dismount. Papa's got a paint, man. Let's go watch. You watch TV. <laughs> yeah. We usually don't let him watch too much TV, but today you gotta watch a little TV so it don't interfere with painting the operation. People watch TV. Quick drying. Folks, listen. We rednecks, we fix things. That's what we do. If it's broke, we fix it. If it's not the right uh, paint job, we paint it. That's what we do. I'll wait on my assistant or I could just get to work. Here we go. That. Just little quick swoops, quick little. I don't need that black, but I don't really care. Ooh, a little bit too much. I'm gonna start running on me. There you go. You see the transformation beginning already. Let me check that out. 
Bad man. Baby, come look at that. How beautiful is oh that, baby? Oh my god, that's great. What? No. Baby, that's beautiful. That's absolutely beautiful. What are you talking about? Huh? Baby, we're going to be styling and profiling and riding this machine up and down the streets. Show them what you got, baby. <laughs> got the flags of the Philippines. Fly the nation's pride. Mommy. What? You just... Baby, that's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Mm. What? Go ahead, baby, pull the trigger, see what happens. There you go. One can down. Tesla chopper is already transformed into a, a stealth mode to high visibility. And she's complaining about my skills, my painting skills. And she's saying that uh, it doesn't look good. She, I don't know what else she's complaining about. But I told her, we're not trying to win a fashion contest. We're trying to not get hit in traffic, be more visible to drivers. That's the objective of this paint job, of this transformation of the Tesla chopper uh, from a military style vehicle. Uh, we're turning it basically into a, like a fire truck, more visible than a fire truck. I think, I think the progress is coming along wonderful. What do you think, baby? No. No what? It's not dirty. Take it up to 90. Rome wasn't built in a day, baby. Tell us your specific complaints. What's the specific complaints? You put you you supposed to be to put only in here, but they have so much in here in there. What I can do? Uh, you just spend that all. Okay. The paint it all. No problem, baby. Why you always, they have already been in there, so. Why are you always complaining, baby? Yeah. Because what about the basket? The basket need to be pink? No. You gonna leave it black color? Just leave it black. This one and this one. This one, no. Just. Just the side here? Just like the line. Two cans of spray paint only. This is what you have. But wait, but wait. 
There's more. Is he a rag there? There's more reflectors on here. Wrap it around there like, like that. Like a candy cane. Now folks, what we're applying right now is what I call a candy cane pinstripe reflective tape. And we're going to do that all around the roll bar there. So at night, from any direction that the light shines on us, you're going to be staring at a reflective candy cane. Baby, you're looking so pretty today. Work that candy cane. Baby, come back, finish the work. Let's go. Come on, baby. Finish the work. Just get that bucket. Don't do that so That's so dirty. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful. You don't know how to do that, Keep working, baby. It's work. Go to work, old girl. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Come on, baby. Keep the candy cane going. And voila, baby. What do you think about the new Tesla chopper? Uh, what? Uh, no. Good. All right, folks, so let me give you a walk around on a new Tesla chopper. We'll start from the back here. Boom! Slow-moving vehicle emblem. Got the high-gloss uh, fluorescent orange paint. We've got the reflective red color, what I call the uh, candy cane pattern right there. Come on down. Rebranded the Tesla chopper. More reflectors all over the Johnson uh, license plate. We'll leave that one license plate. Well, I got one on the front too. But as you can see, it's high visibility now. I got reflectors up the wazoo. So from any direction, if light hits this here chopper. On the front here, I put a special touch. That thing was shaped like a heart. So I painted it red in honor of beautiful, beautiful Fatima. My wife, number two. Every time she goes to put her uh, sack of balot in there, she's going to think about what a good foreign husband I am. And got some blue reflectors on the basket, on the front. And look at the coup de gras. Got dual Philippine flags on the front. I'll get an American flag and replace it. Maybe put one uh, Thailand flag. But that's for, that's for Fatima to honor her country. And there you go. Same on the other side. You got reflectors down low. You got reflectors up high. Now I'm going to put some more reflectors on the wheels. They're already shiny, but I, I figured for good measure. There you go right there, folks. Fatima is griping and a grumbling. But let me ask you this. If you're riding on the road at night, which, which would you rather be riding? This thing or the version before that was OD green? Not very visible. So there you go, folks. That's the new, improved, upgraded Tesla chopper. I'll be proud to rock this thing on the streets of Angeles City. Plus, you know the other good thing? Ain't nobody going to steal this. Who the hell going to steal it now? Before, you could steal it and it blend in everywhere. Now, ain't nobody going to steal this Tesla chopper. I can leave this thing parked anywhere. Who the hell in their right mind is going to steal it? There you go. All right, folks. So you may be wondering, what was the total cost to pimp my ride? 
how much money did it cost me to go from the stock version to this custom machine that it is today? Well, it was pretty efficient. Uh, on the grand scale of things, uh, not too steep, but it cut the wallet just a little bit. Bing! Right there. That's how much the, the parts and materials were to upgrade this chopper. Now, we did put a little sweat equity into it, so I'm not including the labor costs. So that price that you see on the screen, that's all in on how much it cost me to get this thing upgraded. Now, I want to say thanks to everybody who voiced their concerns about visibility. Uh, yeah, it wasn't a good idea to be riding around at night on an OD colored uh, Tesla chopper. But that problem is corrected. It's corrected, and I appreciate everybody who brought that to my attention. I was thinking it too, but thanks to y'all, you pushed me over the edge to take some action quickly. And look at that thing. Man, it's just a beautiful piece of gear sitting in my driveway now folks I got to run got to go pick up my little girl at school she's gonna be so happy you got no key there you go. the only question is is these flags gonna mess up the GoPro audio there's a GoPro mounted right here, right there in the middle, maybe. Look at the meter going on. Maybe you're, you're, I don't know, huh? Fun. Oh, you're pinching. But you already ruined them with the bleach. That's why I wore them. You already ruined them with the bleach. All right, baby, baby. give me a big kiss. Babush. <laughs> What you eating there, baby? Rice. Mm. Beef loaf. That ain't. That don't look like no meatloaf I ever seen. Turning north out. Oh, okay. This one. Let's Did check I, it out here. I put a potato and onion. Potato and onion. Mm. How's it taste? Delicious, of course. Okay, but go over there and show, show everybody what you made last night. It's been cooking all night. Oh, yeah. Got a whole chicken up in there. Yeah. I think it's ready. Thank what you, you think? It's ready. Yeah, it's ready. The meat is in tender. It's tender huh? Tender and juicy. Yeah, you turn it off, baby. <laughs> spicy! Not spicy. It is. <coughs> There's no spice in there. I put the spice yesterday. What'd you put? Paprika. This is paprika, not this cafe. <laughs> paprika, this one. Well, that's where you hid my paprika in the. I thought that was coffee. No, this is paprika, <laughs> not a coffee. Well, yeah, because you put, you put the cayenne pepper. Yeah, you put the hot cayenne pepper, it's going to be a little spicy. Yeah, spicy. I hate too much. Oh, that's a big piece, baby. Good. Um, you just only have a little bit dry, so... It's tender. You're tender? Yeah. It's tender like my tender profile? <laughs> jalapenos? Yeah, put some jalapenos on top, baby. Look at that 
folks. Big old jar jalapenos. Talking doomsday prepper here. Oh, yeah. And what is? Jalapenos and a little A1. You want to save? Oh, yeah, big scoop. More? Yeah, one more scoop, baby. Take a look at this. That is a meal fit for a king right there. Oh my goodness. That's a meal for you. Thank you very much, baby, for making me a wonderful breakfast. Would you want to drink water or hot in Morgan? Or yeah. I'll take some water, baby. Starting my day out right. Let me take a look at that. Mm, mm, mm. That crock pot really is a gem. It's just too easy. If you think you can't cook and you have no culinary skills, I got it. Just buy you a crock pot. It's that simple. You put the chicken, the vegetables, a little bit of spices, Turn the thing on high or low, depending on how much time you got. You know, it's just too easy. If you if you turn it on at eight o'clock at night, put that thing on low. By the time you wake up, you got a a delicious meal. It's too easy. So if you're not a chef, get your ass crock pot. Mmm. My goodness, spicy. that chicken is so tender. No, it ain't spicy. I mean, my jalapeno is just a little bit, but that is so tender. Just a little tenderoni chicken. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. No need to worry about breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Mm -hmm. It's too easy. Get a couple bananas for dessert. But you know, look at the cost too. How much is a chicken? Say, uh, oh, four bucks, give or take a little bit. A little bit of vegetables, a couple bucks, six bucks. Probably the most expensive thing is the electricity to cook it. But you still, you got a whole day's meal for a family of four, at least we do. I say all in, what is it? Eight bucks. Delicious food. Easy to prep. Can't beat it. I don't know why. Every night I just don't throw a chicken or a uh, big old hunk of pork in there and just let it cook overnight. Why complicate things?